What is up my YouTube friends? I hope everybody is doing epically awesome tonight. I'm sure you are. I have no doubt that you guys are all doing absolutely amazing. We have 27 folks in the room and only seven of you have exercised that thumb. Please allow yourself to exercise that thumb and add the 20 some more thumbs up to the room. I would really appreciate it. We're going to answer your live streaming questions tonight. It's going to be epic. It's going to be awesome. And it's going to be two hours. We will be off the air at 9 o'clock. So you want to get them in fast. Get them in hard. We're going, to, we're going to get in and out tonight. And we're going to answer your questions. So you know what? Let's go ahead and open up that question form for all of you guys. Now for those of you who are not aware of how this works, we answer every single question we get. All that we ask is that you do it on the form. There is the form that the logician just dropped the link for in the actual chat, or you can find it in the description below. And we're going to get to every single one of them. We are not going to be doing any live stream reviews or anything like that tonight. And I know that everybody wants to know why. So here we go. Here we go. We're going to find out why we didn't have time to put together any other segments tonight. We're just going to answer your questions. There we go. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> that is the reason why. Yep. We are not going to get to those segments tonight because the BMW did start this week. It was epic. And then I had a lot of buttoning up to do. And then I had to celebrate and all that kind of, you know, this is just the way things work. So we're not going to be doing that, but we are going to be answering all of your questions. Uh, yeah, I do have a lot of grease on my hands, although not quite as bad as it has been in the past. You know, we're getting to the cleaner jobs now, John. <laughs> Let's go see what's up with Monica, see how she's doing tonight. Hello, honey. Hello. You have your, your, your tab is sticking out. Hold on. There oh, we no. go. Now we Maybe fixed your tab. Happened. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. No grease on my hands. No. He does all the grease work with the car, but doing well today. Man, we have a very quiet chat room today. We have 41 viewers, only 15 likes. So there's a lot of broken thumbs wow. in the house. But we, we do not have a lot of folks chatting, which is very helpful. So I want you guys to say hi. Tell me where you're from. We're from the United States, somewhere on the East Coast in a state that begins with P. Take a guess, you can leave that in the chat as well. Uh, I, I won't give it away, but it begins with the letter P. Begins with and P ends and ends with, with A. It ends with Anya, <laughs> something like that, Anya. I don't know. Anya. <laughs> Blue-eyed Skadi's in the house, it's too damn hot. Sorry, Blue-eyed Skadi. It's not too much, it's, it's not too much effort to type though. I do have the air conditioner running. Some of you may actually hear that in the background. I apologize for that little bit of white noise that you hear, but it's oh better. Oh my! Michi Mei just became a member. Yes! And that means we have to celebrate Michi Mei's membership. Thank you so much for becoming a member of the Streamer Squad. That means that you get access to our Discord server, so look for the members only. Community post that actually gives you the link to the Discord server, and I look forward to seeing you there. I always love it when people join us. You get a little trolly. Yes. <laughs> it's five past midnight in Dodger, England, Dodger, Doncaster. Again, like mentioned. Well, it's good that Doncaster, Monica says. Face fellow. Oh, yeah. Michi, thank you so much for joining the streamer squad. I really do appreciate it. Woo! <laughs> hey, man. Come on, face. You can do this. I can't. I can't lose the face. I got something right here. I got, yeah. That was creepy. <laughs> just wouldn't go away <laughs> you know what my mama always said if i did that it would stick and stay that way now we know now you now did we it. know 
Nova Scotia's in the house. The Netherlands in the house. Oh, you know what? We did what? not do our popcorn thing. We're gonna have to do that. <laughs> uh, start, please, shitball. Oh, that's that's pretty funny, and he's actually using my icon as well. Ha ha ha! Man, you are hilarious. You are definitely hilarious. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, let's go ahead and. Uh, and and do the popcorn thing yes because that would oh my goodness blue-eyed skadee well thank you so much blue-eyed skadee <laughs> i i can't believe that uh that you, you you got in already so early well this is good though because it gives us time to build up some questions let's go and see if you left a message for us let's see Blue-eyed Skadee, buy some cold ones for everyone. Well, that would be, that would be incredible. I would absolutely love to buy some cold ones for everyone. <laughs> oh, I'm still laughing at the troll who tells me that I should start already. <laughs> I, for some reason, that just made me laugh. I can't help it. Uh, you know what? I'm all about a good troll. He's even using my logo. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Oh, there he goes. There's, yeah, there's, there's, there's Mr. Tapu Army doing the same thing. Oh, that's too bad. He's actually using my, <laughs> using my logo and everything. Unbelievable. Not very smart, but you know. The more he does it, the more the, the easier it is to actually find out. <laughs> the easier it is to actually find out, uh, you know, what his IP address is, and that that makes it more fun, right? Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Blue-eyed Skippy. I really do appreciate it. Let's get back over here. Maybe I'll be able to. Nope, I can't. For some reason, my stream deck is is not cooperating with me to switch faces tonight. But what we didn't do was uh, embiggen everyone's popcorn, so we're gonna do that. <laughs> Ignore yeah. the trolls. Rupert, the trolls are fun. <laughs> we're gonna embiggen your virtual popcorn out there. You're gonna have to be responsible for your own butter, but everyone does get virtual popcorns because that's just, that's just how we roll. How are you doing tonight, honey? Doing very well doing very well. I'm going to sit back with my popcorn and ask my questions in between bites. All right. Well, that sounds good. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and uh, we've got 40 concurrent viewers and only 25 likes too. So that's still a lot of broken thumbs. Maybe we could hook that up. <laughs> that's yes. a lot of popcorn. You know it, Express. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> oh, man. And uh, we we uh we got folks from Greece in the house, Canada, man, Romania. all over the world, all over the world, Bulgaria, get out! That's awesome, <laughs> man. Yeah, we we uh we got sidetracked there a little bit, so I didn't get to look and see, but it is awesome. France, France. sweet. Good evening, everyone from Pennsylvania. Nice. Mm -hmm. We're in a state also on the East Coast that starts with P and ends with A. So, yeah. South Africa in the house. All right, yeah. babe, do we actually have any yeah. questions? We do. All we right, do. let's do it. All right, let's get started. The first question is from uh, the Tapu Army. He wants to know your opinion on the Movavi video editor. I haven't used it. I haven't used it, so I couldn't tell you. Um, I know that if you're looking for legit um, reviews and that sort of stuff on Movavi, I think uh, there was a guy out there who did uh, those those uh, that stuff. What was his name, Michael? Uh, that was, um, uh, geez. I can never remember his name. Uh, neither can I. Um... Oh, uh, logician will probably get it before us. Yeah, he might. 
<laughs> you might, but there are there are guys out there that were using it and doing reviews on it and stopped and then started doing it again. So it must be reasonably decent, but it's not a software that I use. I either use DaVinci or Premiere Pro. So let's get to the next question. Okay. And we'll Second. probably figure out his name at some point and then yeah. somebody will chime okay. in. Yep. Okay, Jonathan Gerber is your next question. It says, um, is there a way to reveal one by one? We're doing a power ranking list tonight, and I would like to reveal our picks as we announce them. Daniel Batal. I just can't. Oh, Dan do it. oh yeah, Daniel Batal is the name of the guy who does does those uh, reviews. Yeah. Um, is there a way to do it? Actually, let me go over here to my tutorial screen, and we'll pop this up. And I do. I have a video exactly on this. Hey, that's that's not pointing to the right spot. Hold on a second. Yeah, we're um, we're gonna post a link to the video. Oh, you know what? I know why that's doing that. I switched it up this week. I had to do. I was doing a little bit of other stuff. So there we go. There we go. Yes. Now, now we're now we're proper. Now we're proper. Sort of. I just have to size this up properly. Boom. There we go. There we go. That makes more sense. We actually have a, a nice second scene here where you can see my studio a little bit. You can get my hands. It's pretty exciting stuff. Pretty exciting. Got We're doing the, the Stormtrooper outfit today. It's going to be a lot of fun. Here we roll with the Sam's Club Cola because, you know, we can't afford regular soda here in the studio. So this is what we get. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, Michael is going to post the uh, link to the video that I did. It allows you to reveal the next category or the picks or whatever one at a time and make it look animated. It's very cool. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty easy to do, and you'll have a lot of fun with it. So I don't see that actual link in there yet. Are you still looking I mean, for it? No, I was, my keyboard was all goofy. It's uh, there's, there's the link. There's a link, and we're embiggening your popcorn yeah. again. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, you know, I didn't turn off the, the, the animation. So there you go. All right, babe, what's the next question? Or, or the popcorn popper. You just gave out yes. all that popcorn. I and just, I, the popcorn popper popcorn. never goes off, man. <laughs> so we it just, smells we just pop and pop <laughs> and pop and pop, 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 and pop. You know, dude. That's all we do around here is just pop. Popcorn. <laughs> you are a big studio, says CryptoForce. I am a big studio. I have a, uh, I, I, that's why we do Sam's Club. And Crypto Force is using right, my babe. thing as well. Isn't that great? <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Uh, that, okay. You know what? That's, that's not actually happening. That's just for some reason, um, Chat Ninja doing that. That's very strange. Anyway, go ahead and, uh, okay. Get to the next question. Next question. Next question comes from Ryder Jitsu. Well, hello, Ryder Jitsu. How or where do you find the movie and TV show clips to use in videos? And what is the legality around that? All right. This is a good question. Let's go over to our main screen here. And uh, so basically all of the clips that are used, and of course that has to be opened because I didn't turn it off. There we go. All the clips and everything that are used in anyone's videos, they're all taken directly from uh, sites like Envato Elements. There are links to Envato Elements in the description below. There are other sites like Artlist and everything else. They offer all kinds of B-roll. If you go through uh, something like Envato Elements for an hour or two looking at the clips, you will see all the same clips show up in commercials that you see on TV, <laughs> in all kinds of promotional things. If you work for a company that does promotional videos, you're gonna see clips from there. That's where they all come from. You pay for it, and so they are free to use because they own the, they own the rights to that. So there you go. That is how all those, that's where all those clips come from. Michael has something to add, so hold on a second. Let's go over to, uh, let's go over here. What's that? What's that, Michael? Uh, Ryder is also talking about like, 
when you'll see like a clip from like a popular TV show, which is something that I do. Um, like I'll use a clip from Family Guy or Simpsons or SpongeBob. Right. You know, like the twenty minutes later. It, the rule of thumb is, you probably shouldn't be using them. But if probably general not. rule is, if you keep it under like eight to ten seconds, you should be okay. But you're always playing that game whether or not you can get nabbed or it. So I like to try to keep it at about five seconds when I do a clip. So yep. just just food for thought. Is it legal? I, no, but that's like a loophole. The, the algorithm can't figure it out in time if you keep it under a certain time. No, especially if the video subject is different and then it kind of counts it more like a meme. Talk yeah. to MU. You did not miss the form, my friend. You are, you are good to go. All right, babe, let's get the next question. Okay, next question comes from Red Shadow 3040. Well, hello, Red Shadow 3040. What is a quality to use on OBS to use with 800 to 900 megabits per second download and 40 to 50 megabits per second upload? I try to use 60 frames per second for my streams. Yeah, um, so you've got 800 megabits down. Um, yeah. Let's go over here to the main scene. All right, so chances are you're probably not even able to stream in high def at uh, 800 megabits. And what was the up speed you said? 40 to 50 megabits? Yeah, uh, you're not gonna be able to live stream with that internet connection. It's just not, there's not enough bits going up to actually put together a signal that anyone would want to watch. Um, you have to be somewhere in the, you know, you have to be able to use 6,000 megabits um, to get HD, and that's in 30 frames per second. Um, you might want to go a little higher than that for 60 frames per second. So if you were going to do 720, you're still talking about 4,000 kilobits per second. At 60 frames per second, maybe 5,000 kilobits per second. So at at our uh, at at 12, you know, you're you're just not you're probably not getting it done. So that that's uh, that's where you're at. You you need to do. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. We'll go over here to our tutorial, and we'll bust up the the thing here, and we're gonna go into settings. And we'll go into output, and right here you got your kilobits per second. So if you're running, um, if you're running somewhere around 12, uh, 12 megabits per second, then you can do 6,000 kilobits per second pretty easy. But if you're only running four or five, you're not going to have enough bandwidth to to do that. Four or five megabits per second is literally 5,000 kilobits per second. It's the entirety or 4,000 kilobits per second. Um, so <laughs> it's literally the entirety of your bandwidth and generally speaking, that's not good. So at 720, if you have a four megabit, megabit uh, upload, you could do 4,000 kilobits per second in, uh, in 720 and maybe get somewhat reasonable uh, 60k but I, I i don't think so i really i really don't think so i'm battling to do a live stream with about 90 megabits up uh what else could i uh look to fix that's the problem rupert you probably want to look at making sure that uh making sure that you optimize your stream because if you're having problems it, it's probably more likely your machine than it is your connection <laughs> what is my upload uh, my upload is 12 megabits up. Here, I can show you. I can show you. Let's see here. Uh. <coughs> Uh, that's that's not my up so my upload here is showing at 10 megabits per second and it's testing it again oh wait hold on it's testing my upload so I'm at 19 up and 84 down 
So that means that theoretically I could, uh, you know, I could probably go faster. I could, I could do more kilobits per second. But generally speaking, I wouldn't do 6,000 unless you have a 12 megabit up. So if you're talking about a 4 megabit up, the most that you would want to do is 2,000. You're not doing 60 frames per second at any bit rate that's at 2,000. You're just not. You're going to maybe be doing 30 frames per second. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, you're probably going to need a better, a better upload speed. So let's get another question. Okay. All right, babe. Conspiracy Media is your Well, hello, one. Conspiracy Media. With all the new platforms offering panels and guests, what, if anything, will be done to compete? Uh, Rupert asked that question, and the logician posted a link to a video that could help you. Anyway, go ahead. I'm sorry. What was the question again? Oh, okay. That wasn't the answer to that question. Okay. Uh, it says, with all the new platforms offering panels and guests, what, if anything, will be done to compete? Well, I'm, I'm assuming that all of those companies are generally speaking, they're competing with OBS and they're still a ways off until you get to a company that's going to uh, provide you the ability to add, you know, pretty much all the overlays, switch different scenes, um, add transitions in between those scenes, move your assets around anywhere you want on the screen have overlays that interact directly with alerts and things like that. But I think the way that companies could overtake or become better than something like Polypop or OBS could be with some sort of a heat signature where people could actually physically interact with your live stream by clicking on the actual video link or something like that. If they were to come up with ways to do stuff like that. <clears throat> I think um, I think that could that could be a big thing. Um, that that I you know something like that I think is probably the next step. So you're getting 40 megabits per second up. So I'm confused as how you can do you can do uh, 6,000 kilobits per second on 40 megabits per second. You can't do 6,000 kilobits per second if you have four megabits per second. <laughs> so. Maybe I maybe uh, maybe the question was misread or I misunderstood it, but at 40 kilobits per second you can easily do um, 6k and six. I, if you were going to do 60 frames per second, I'd probably go 7k or 8k. But there you go. All right, let's get another question. All right, babe. Um, apps 2022. Is next. Hello, apps 2022. Um, doing a live show from my mobile phone. Is there anything like OBS Studio or they have written here Lollipop? I'm wondering if they mean Polypop. Uh, uh, yeah, so let me go over here. There actually is a pretty cool app for the phone. Um, I did a video on it that I didn't release yet. So it'll be coming out within the next two weeks. But the app that you would be looking for if you wanted to add alerts and stuff like that from your phone would be, uh, it's, it's actually part of the Streamlabs ecosystem so Streamlabs it runs right on your phone it allows you to add overlays for your chat and it allows you to add overlays for alerts and all that sort of stuff so you can use like the tip jar or your regular alerts you can even use alerts that you use custom that you actually put into your stream elements account and then they will uh, you can select those and use them in your uh, using the stream elements live streaming app let me see if I have, uh, I'm pretty sure I have it installed on here. Maybe I can, uh, yeah, I think it's called the Streamlab deck now. Um, and here's, here's what the, here's what the icon looks like. Uh, right there. It's kind of not very descript, but yeah, that'll, that'll do all kinds of really cool stuff. Um, and I've used it. I did a video on it. It'll be coming out in the next week or so um, because I wanted to help people who wanted to live stream with their phones, learn how they could do it. And if you don't have a thousand subscribers and you still want to live stream for your phone, if you're using an app like the Streamlabs app, you can kind of get around that whole thing. So there you go. There you go. Let's, uh, let's get another question. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, and keep an eye out for that video. It'll be coming really soon. Okay. Next question Hopefully. is from y Yanni. Hello, Yanni. Which chat element could I use when I stream into two different Facebook pages from which I only have their stream key, but I am not the admin? So he's looking to use a chat something or other? Is that what the question chat is? Chat element could I use when I stream into two different Facebook pages? Okay. Not well, the yet. easiest way to grab chat, um, you know, and, and it's going to be difficult because nothing's going to aggregate chat for a, for a chat thing that you don't own. But let's go over here to our tutorial screen. So you're not going to be able to grab chat for a chat thing you don't own. But what you can do, um, and it's going to be difficult to have the combined chat. In fact, impossible. What you can do is you can grab a window capture of the window that you have your chat in. So in my case, that's the window right there. I can grab that. I can use the Alt key. So you would just do this in Facebook. You just crop it up using the Alt key. And, and I can right click on it and I can go and I can put it in blend mode screen so it makes it kind of disappear. I can put it wherever I want and now I've got my chat in there. Now this is the, the uh, YouTube chat but the concept is exactly the same for Facebook chat. You just grab the window and you crop it up and you put it where you want it. It's the easiest way to add chat. It never fails. It always works and yeah so that's that's how i that's how i do mine uh, i'm done messing around with apps that add chat and all that stuff because let's be honest they half the time they don't work and i don't need complications on my live stream i just want the stuff to work <laughs> you know all right let's get another one by the way i have a video on how to do that if somebody could drop the link in uh in the chat for the video that I did on the simple way to add live chat to your screen. I would appreciate it. All right, babe, what you got? All right. Next question is from the security pro. Hello, the security pro. Is having a fast CPU and GPU always needed to produce a quality stream or can cloud-based solutions be used like cloud gaming? Huh. Well, um, so I've never, I don't have any experience with cloud gaming solutions. So I can't actually say for 100% sure, yep, that'll work, because I don't know. But what I will say is this, you don't need a supercomputer to do, um, you don't need a supercomputer to actually live stream. The, all, all of the stuff that I'm running here, I used to do on a five-year-old computer. The only thing is, is I had an NVIDIA graphics card that has an encoder that did all of the encoding. And I was able to put together this entire live stream with multiple scenes and multiple cameras and multiple OBS sessions open and everything else running a five-year-old machine with a five-year-old NVIDIA graphics card. So if you don't want to spend a lot of money, you don't have to, but you have to have the right equipment in your machine in order to be able to put something together. And it's ridiculously amazing what you can do with old equipment if it's the right equipment. So that's pretty much where I'll leave that puppy. Let's we'll get another question. Okay. All um, right. Question from Palm Primus. Hello, Palm what? Primus. Why does my stinger transition glitch out when switching between scenes, specifically when going to my scene showing my gameplay? I even tried the different times and tried to time it with the stinger length and nothing. Could it be a hardware issue like my PC isn't good enough or settings issue with the stinger? Huh. Well, let's go over here. So it could be a couple of different things. Let me go over to my tutorial screen here. So I've got a stinger that plays in between these two. And you'll notice that if I switch from one scene to another and then I switch, it doesn't, it doesn't go, <laughs> you know? So it started there and then it didn't. And then I could switch. And then uh, if I switch again, and then if I wait a second, it'll switch. But if you, if you 
switch between multiple scenes really quickly, it will definitely glitch on you. The other thing is, if we go into properties, you, uh, it, it is a video, it's running. So if it has a lot of dead space at the end of it, it could be longer than you think. Um, you can, if you're, if you're using hardware to decode it, you might want to uncheck that and see if it changes anything. There is also a thing. So let me show you here. If I load a media source, which it wouldn't be right if I didn't, um, go here and where is it? All right. So if I load a video source, right, it gives me a whole bunch of options. I can loop it. I can restart when play when playback begins. And then I can show nothing when playback ends. Uh, you know, you can close the file when it's inactive. Well, those are things that are probably aspects of a stinger, but you don't get to choose them. So in other words, if it doesn't automatically close out the file, if it does, if it you know, if it's running longer, it won't start. So is it, I guess my question is, is it possible that when you're switching from whatever to your game scene, that you could be doing two scenes in succession really quickly, which would cause that? That's the kind of thing that would cause it. The other thing I would do is make sure that the length of your stingers is as small as possible. So in other words, don't have a lot of dead space after your stinger is finished running because then you run into the possibility that you could end up with, uh, then you, look at that, I'll put this on my little square monitor right there. <laughs> it doesn't quite fit, but you know what? It's okay. We can pretend that those are like real good monitors, right? There we go. There we go, look at that. Looks like I have like really good equipment and stuff. You guys are like, oh man, he's got two monitors over there, he's got one there. I have one there and I have one there. These three monitors are the only ones that are even good and two, this one is a TV. So yeah, we run on a budget here at Michael Fire Jr. I can promise you that. <laughs> That's why we're using Sam's Club Cola, okay? So hopefully that answers your question. If I were to switch back, back and forth and my stingers are very optimized. So you can see how that glitched out. Um, my stingers are pretty optimized, but if I switch really fast, you can see when I switch there, it didn't use the stinger at all because it still had it grabbed in the other scene. See? So you can get them to switch if you switch too fast. I wait a few seconds and it works one time, but throughout the stream, it does that quick cutoff. Yeah, so something's getting stuck with it. I would definitely go through and maybe what you should try to do is take that stinger load it into something like um, DaVinci Resolve or Premiere or whatever you're using and just just uh, just re-encode it, just run it again and then run it through the WebEx uh, converter and see if that fixes it. Because there's something with that file that it's holding on to that file and that's what's causing that. Oh no! Anonymous? Anonymous, thank you so much. Let's see if Anonymous left us an anonymous message. That is awesome. Anonymous says, for some cola, your pick. The, you pick the brand. Well, thank you, Anonymous. I appreciate that. You know, I'm just going to say, I, you know, I, I don't actually mind the uh, Sam's Club Cola. It's actually not bad. For the, for the fact that it's about three bucks less a case, it tastes almost no different than Pepsi, which I would generally drink otherwise. So, you know, it is what it is, right? <laughs> oh, Anonymous. Thank you. <laughs> That's from the Logician. He, he keeps forgetting to fill in the name. Well, thank you, Logician. I appreciate that. I really do. And I have something I have to send to the logician and for that I need to go to the store, to the shipping store and I just haven't gotten around to it. But we will definitely get there. We will definitely get there. The only time the Stinger glitch, uh, when you use studio mode for OBS. 
Ah, well that could have something to do with it. That that's an interesting that's an interesting factoid as well. I don't use studio mode very much, so it's hard to say. Let's uh let's go over here and thank you so much, logician. I appreciate it. That is just awesome. All right, honey, we're whipping through them, right? We we're are doing this. We are. This next question, though, it's from Dimebag Darren. Um, he says, "Still blocked in chat. Can this change?" Yeah. Um, sure. Let's go. Let's go over to our tutorial screen, <laughs> and let's actually look and see where he's at, because. Let's go to, uh, I think we have to go to settings and we have to go to channel and it's community actually. We'll go to community and then we have to go here to hidden users and let's see. If, uh, if you see it, yell out because I might not catch it. I haven't seen it yet, have you? Yeah, there's some really good bot names in here. Oh, this is this is this is intriguing TV. But we're going to I would like to get to the bottom of this. 73 more. I would like to get to the bottom of this because I would like Dimebag to be able to chat with us again. And I don't know exactly why that's happening. And I know that Logician looked into it and, and uh, Michael looked into it. And we have not been able to find anything in here. So that's it. That's it, man. If you are unable to chat in here, um, it's not because your, your name is in our, in our block list or our ban list. I don't have any. I, I don't have. I don't have any explanation for it. I really don't. But uh, maybe. <laughs> it's maybe. Uh, maybe message YouTube, and see if they can figure it out, and you can even show them th this clip of the stream, to see if uh, maybe they can. Maybe they can figure it out for us because you're definitely not blocked on my channel at all. Um, un unfortunately, I, I wish I could do something to unblock you, but I can promise you that uh, we did not do it. In fact, we had one of, one of my good friends did this up just in case so we know whose fault it is. <laughs> and I doubt, I really do doubt that um, if we are planning to block Mr. Mr. Darren, they would have did that up. So it's got to be somebody else's fault. Who's, whose fault do you think it is? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is it's not on my end. So let's get another question. We love you, Dimebag. I hope that uh, YouTube can answer why this is happening or somebody can... You know, it's funny because I have a I have a friend, old school friend from YouTube, um, who went. I he's he's gone like three years now where he cannot he literally cannot interact in chat on live streams. Not just one live stream, but any live stream. And YouTube has been unwilling or unable to do anything to fix the problem. So I certainly hope, Dimebag, that it's not every live stream. It sucks if it's my live stream, but you can create a dummy account and just say hi to us anyways. Um, but it would suck if it's every live stream. And I do have a friend who actually went through that exact problem, which is just ridiculous. It's just that would that would really stink. Anyway, sorry, Di sorry, Darren. Hopefully, hopefully we get it resolved. Let's get another question. Uh, did you see Dave is here? Dave from Organic Gardening is here. Hey, Dave. Hey, Dave. What's up, brother? 
Okay. Next He's question not comes answer, from honey. comes from Commander Beaver. Hello, Commander Beaver. <laughs> Commander Beaver a, says, where do you find the one. awesome animated backgrounds you use in your streams? Envato Elements. Envato Elements. Envato Elements. There's a link in the description. Check it out. You'll love it. Hmm. All right. Okay. Next question is from the Tap Tapu or Tap U Army. Hello, can Tapu you, Army. Can you make a stream moderator form? Uh, what do you mean? So you could sign up to be a stream moderator? Uh, I guess you could. Um, I mean, you could make a stream moderator form if you want, but I think it's best to um, choose your moderators based on people that you interact with outside of live streaming and things like that that you actually trust. Um, my moderators, like Tech Examined, comes up to my house you know about every other week or I come down there and visit him uh, you know a lot of uh, a lot of the other moderators that I have uh, the logician and um, some of the other ones they're all members of my membership program and I interact with them on a semi-regular basis um, and that is why uh, and that and that is why you know uh, I, that's how I choose mine uh, it's fa I'm fast and loose at assigning mods. <laughs> the logician is one of the best moderating, uh, one of the best moderating choices I've ever made, and, I, and I'm glad I did. Let's get another question. So I don't know if you really want to have a form, because you can't vet people based on a form. You've got to kind of get to know them, and make sure they're people that you trust. And and let's be honest, everybody is going to have their own style of moderation what's acceptable on their stream and what isn't i like my uh i like the people on my stream to understand what's acceptable and what isn't i want people to have fun but i want everyone to be able to come here and have fun so we want to be uh you know we want to be pretty much straight down the middle keep it clean have fun and do all that stuff so you know that's that's kind of how i roll here right honey that's right that's it's right. not that it's not that I've never dropped an f bomb or I, uh, you know, trust me, I've dropped a lot of foul language working on that car. I can promise you, <laughs> uh, it it probably sounds like a you know a sailor ship out there, but that's that's me in my garage. That's not for everybody, so that's why we keep it clean here, because um, it is for everybody, and we want everybody to feel comfortable and welcome. That's right. Even you, honey. Even yes, I know, because I am the epitome. Of needing to feel welcome, comfortable, and welcome. <laughs> yes, that's, that's why. That's, that's why you wear comfortable pants. That's right. That's right. Comfortable pants. Comfortable shoes. Uh, okay. Uh, next question. XTC Technologies has a question. XTC Technologies. It's like a, yes. you know. Uh -huh. says, what video editor do you recommend that is free and not DaVinci Resolve because my PC cannot handle Resolve? Huh. Well, I don't know of any other free editors, to be honest with you, that are particularly comprehensive. So, there you have it. Um, the reason why DaVinci Resolve is difficult to run on a machine is because that's how editors are. They're very, they're very RAM intensive. So if you're having difficulty running that, um, if there's a free editor out there that you can run, it's probably not going to be particularly comprehensive. I know there are a couple out there for cell phones and stuff like that, but I don't know exactly what they are because um, I've never used them. So maybe somebody in the chat has uh, some sort of suggestion as to apps that, the, so that this person can use that are free to edit their videos, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not aware of anything that's particularly good or comprehensive. Um, it gives me a bunch of uh, GPU errors. I see. Huh. That's kind of strange. I wonder why that is. Have you gone and... Uh, yeah, hit, hit Film Express, maybe. That, that's actually one I've heard of. Um, XTC, I would, I would check to see... Uh, go, to, go to the forums and see if there's a reason why you're getting those errors. Because maybe, uh, maybe it's something that's fixable. Um, or... 
you're going to get GPU errors because um, you're, you're getting GPU errors because you're running out of RAM. So, yeah, it could be your graphics drivers or it could be your RAM. And actually, John Berendale mentions Filmora, which someone asked about earlier tonight. I'm not super familiar with it, and I'll bet you it's not totally free, but they probably have a solution that does edit simple stuff for nothing. So it might be worth a shot as well. Uh, yeah, so all the all the drivers are up to date. And I'm guessing, XTC, that you are using, um, you're probably using like a standard graphics card, like a, like a real NVIDIA or something like that. Uh, if you're just using like the Intel Iris graphics card or something, I'm guessing that could be. Uh, yeah, see, Filmora is okay for beginners. That's what I was thinking. Maybe maybe try hit Film Express. It should, uh, here's the thing. If you're having problems with DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro will definitely make you want to commit suicide. I can promise you. Could, Premiere Pro crashes on my machine seven or eight times a session. It is horrifying. Horrifying. So thank you guys for the other suggestions. Hopefully we found something that can help XTC technologies. Hey, it's our haunted travels. Honey, it's Panic D. Let's go over here. Hey. <laughs> yeah, it's Panic D's in the house. That's Holy so cow. awesome. It is, is so good so to awesome. see you guys. It's awesome I don't know if it's Sean guys. or Marianne, but it's <laughs> awesome to see you guys. For anyone who might not know, uh, organic gardening in North Carolina. Oh, Kinemaster's free as well. That's cool. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Dave. Organic gardening in North Carolina. Dave has been around for a very, very long time and maybe not even as long as our haunted travels Panic D. We ran in the same circles a very, very, very long time ago when this channel was all about nothing. <laughs> right, honey? <laughs> Yes, yes. And you know what? I actually saw they were off for a while and they were yeah. coming back on. And I think it was tonight that they had a, a what's that, a premiere video, I believe it was. And I wanted to stop by and I totally forgot. I apologize. But it's so great to see you guys. We're so excited to have you here. Yes, very excited. Let's do another question. Uh, yeah, p <laughs> the logician has been trying to help me get my... Premiere Pro stable, and I think it's just RAM and garbage. So, <laughs> Premiere after comeback. three years working on a comeback. I, I already told, I already messaged those guys about their comeback. Hopefully, I'll have the opportunity to help them out a little bit. But we got to get to the questions, or people are going to give us some some stuff. Oh, Grim Reaper Show asks: Is Voice Mod? And I'm sorry for answering this question, but I know it's a super quick one. Is Voice Mod license worth buying? And is it safe to run? I'm looking for a good, easy to use voice mod, and I like to use that setup. And I wanna just flip over to my tutorial screen super quick. You can see I have voice mod here. It is a licensed version. It is not the free version. It is worth every freaking penny, and hopefully you use my link in the description as well. But it's like one time. It's not annual, it's one time. And they're always adding stuff. There's voice labs, so you could create your own voices. I absolutely think that voice mod is the one of the best values in software that you can get. It is awesome. Actually, the best value in software that you can get is Snap Camera because it's free. But after that, the 15 or so dollars or whatever it is for voice mod, it's worth every freaking penny. It is really awesome software and it, it allows you to do some really cool stuff with your live stream. So. I would I would definitely recommend it. Let's get uh, let's get another question. And I apologize. I apologize. Adobe is too expensive. Yeah, no kidding. Especially for how broken it is. Um, I apologize for skipping to that that uh, getting to that question. But I did want Grim Reaper to know that voice mod is totally worth it. All right, babe. Okay. Do we have another question. Yes. Yes, we do. Right. We have one from Talk Mew. Hello, there, talk me you. Is there any way to hide the frame of the elements in Polypop while changing media during a live stream so it does not show? Frames of the element. I'm not sure what, I'm not sure. Let's well, go over our main screen. 
Um, so when you're changing media, so I'm assuming that you're kind of changing and it's showing the window. And the best way to do that is probably to do to create a scene. So let me go over to my tutorial screen and let's see if we can't kick up a polypop session real quick. And we'll see if I can't show you what I would do. All right, so we've got some, uh, yeah, w w you can remind me later. We've got polypop in here, I have one scene. So I don't remember what all this stuff is. Let's just remove that, yes. So we've got this scene right here in polypop. And so if I was adding like video elements to this, so let's let's add a video element to this just for fun. You, you know we have to do it. Uh, OBS. Um, we'll add. This one right here. All right, you don't want to let me do that. All right, let's add a video element to this. So you're probably adding a screen capture, aren't you? You're not adding a video source. It's really hard for me to know. But what I would do is I would have one scene. I would create a second scene, right? And then I would, I would, um, I would change on that second scene using using the stuff. So what I would probably do is let's say I was we'll go back to the first scene and let's say I'm using some sort of a browser thing. Let's let's do a window capture, right? Uh, cuz I suspect that might be what you're trying to use. So let's see repeating stuff. Uh I haven't used this in a while, so app screen capture. There we go. And we're going to preview this. And we'll go in here. And so we want to capture. Let's see. Let's, let's capture our snap camera shot, right? And then we'll just drag this in there. And boom. So now we have our snap camera captured in here. And let's say that we wanted to change the snap camera to something else on the fly. What I would probably do is switch to scene two, where it has every all the same elements. It just doesn't have that box, right? Switch to the switch to the scene two. Then I could go to the app capture, and I can change it to uh, another window. So we can change it to that one. And then when I go back here, it's that one. So it, you know. And if I wanted to crop it, it, it's not a big deal. I can go here, crop and filter, and we can crop it. We can crop it up. So, in other words, I can do all of this while the other scene is on. I can change this up, and nobody knows it's not the same scene. You know, no, nobody knows. So I can, I could have gone from scene one to scene two. I could crop that up. And no, nobody, nobody really knows it's not the same scene, you know. So that's that's what I would probably do. That way you can avoid having them see you load all that screen on, and uh, it's really simple to do. So because you can modify all this stuff over here while you're on a different scene, and then when you go back, well, it's all modified, and nobody's nobody's the wiser. So that that's what I think you're trying to ask and that's as, that's the best that's the best I've got for you on that front. So let's get another question. Okay. All right. Okay, next question comes from Joey Brooklynite. Hello Joey. Are Elgato capture cards overrated? I have a 4K cap card that cost me $45, but I find my NBA 2K streams a bit laggy. Well, you're still going to get lag. I can tell you it's not lag, it's latency, and you're still going to get it. But um, they're definitely worth it. Uh, this video right here comes from my Sony uh, A6500, which is being captured on a, cap on a cam card. I have the Cam Link Pro, 
Um, actually, that's the Cam Link Pro. I have uh, the, yeah, I think it is the Cam Link Pro. It has four inputs on it. You're going to get a small amount of latency anytime that you're capturing a separate video source. Um, so if you're trying to, if you're trying to, <coughs> if you're trying to listen to it um, at the same time, well, you know, you 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 just can't. You couldn't do that with a with a uh, webcam. You can't do it with a capture card cam. Um, it, it just is what it is. So, <laughs> talk mu. We did ask. We did answer a question from you, and if that's your question, um, we did answer a question from you, but it was a while ago. So, let's get another question. Yeah, that was about the polypop. Oh, that was the polypop one. I'm sorry, talk mu. I did answer that question. It would have been nice if you were here, so I could have got you to uh, fill me in a little bit more on what you were asking. But I think. I think I might have answered it, I hope. <laughs> okay. All we can do is hope, my friend. Maybe maybe rewind a little bit and uh, see if I answered it for you. If not, you know, you can, you can ask again. All right, babe, what you got? Okay, okay, I have a question here from Tezza Ferret. Hello, Tezza. However, um, it's a longer question, so I'm just going to read it uh, and see... Um, if you can help. Okay, so he says, I live in England. I have my PC and OBS. My friend is in Australia with his PC and OBS. We both DJ music on Twitch. I want to stream on one channel for the both of us. So if I start the stream on channel one, my friend does the same on a different channel, channel two, using the audio from channel one, then after 15 minutes, he is live on channel one. Then I watch his stream and use his audio and switch like that every 15 minutes. I guess we need a transition with some kind of audio to cover up the switching of audio between streams. Would I need to use screen capture or window capture or other? Would it be better to have like three PCs running OBS? Oh, hold on. We got a member. The logician has become a member. Well, I guess you just. You just are re upped. Because the logician is one of our, one of our most elegant and awesome members. The logician's like, uh, yeah, you just, uh, you just upped your brother. Just helped you again for another session as a member. I, I can't I can't figure it out. Did my account get hacked? I don't think so. It's probably the same time as every month or whatever. It just wants to look it up. But that's okay, we get to listen to the music. Thank you, Logician. It says a sponsor. Is that the same thing? Yeah, no, it's the same thing. Okay. Okay. All right. We okay. almost got through some of that question. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was at the end. I was just like, there's like two or three questions at the end. Um, so he says, I need it. I guess I would need a transition with some kind of audio to cover up the switching of audio between streams. Would I need to use screen capture or window capture or something else? Would it be better for me to have like three PCs running OBS, one for me streaming, one for my friend streaming, then the third for switching between streams and streaming that to the main channel? <laughs> All right, let's go over to the main here. Uh, I'm really, this one, this one is a fascinating question because I've got to be honest. I'm not sure what your setup is, um, but I can tell you how I would probably do this. So let's say Michael and I were going to do something similar. I think, I think that the three PC um, setup might be the right might be the right setup because I have. Eh, you could probably get away with a two PC setup. 
So in other words, you're bringing your friend's information in on one PC. And on the other PC is your information. In other words, your stream. And so basically you're moving his stream to yours. So it's in two different scenes. You have his scene and you have your scene. And then you, maybe you have a combined scene. Um, so the, all of his stuff is coming from the second PC and you can mix it and match it and do all of your streaming stuff on the first PC. And that, that's the way to do it. Honestly, the two PC thing seems like it makes a lot of sense as well because you've got his stream coming in on one PC, then your stream being set up on another, and then you have a third PC where you just mix everything together and I kind of like the idea of that because they're all going to have the equal uh, level of sync. Although you do have to deal with latency because his stream is coming into yours. So there's, there's that whole thing. But that's complicated stuff that you're doing right there. And I can, imagine that, I can imagine that there's lots of room for things to go wrong. So just always keep that in mind. Cyperian Foxclaw is in the house. A touch late, but that's okay, brother. You don't, we don't dock people here for lateness. You know? Are you there, honey? What, what are you reading? Oh, you're talking to me. <laughs> oh, you're talking to me? <laughs> are Sorry. you, are you texting Cyperian Foxclaw to dock them for lateness? <laughs> I know I'm making a note. <laughs> He's tardy. <laughs> Damn it, Onion. Be on he time, probably, brother. He probably doesn't feel tardy. <laughs> it's his wife's fault there you go there you go ruin your marriage for us <laughs> can we add her to the wheel of blame yeah we need to add we need to add Siberian fox claws wife to the wheel of blame you know what i know whose fault it is that i know whose fault it is that Siberian fox claw aka onion was late there we go here we go now we're gonna know who it was we're going to definitively know whose fault it is. Oh, honey. How what? could you? If you weren't texting with Cyperian Foxball all that time, you would have been on time. Man, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Well, it's you know, there fault. you go. It's not my fault, but the Wheel of Blame says so. so. It's, yeah. it's totally your fault. It's my fault. <laughs> all right. Well, let's get another question. Well, Tech Exam had just joined the streamer yeah. squad, too. Yes, so it yeah, just must be re-upping. Apparently I had to re-up because my card was declined. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Damn. Oh, okay. Son of a... <sighs> well, what you got, babe? I have... Let me see. The next question. Hold on. Hold on. The next question is from Turn It Up with Teddy. Saying, all of a sudden... I've gotten audio drops from my capture card. If I deactivate and reactivate the source, it comes back. Is there a buffer to lengthen? Um, there actually is a buffer to lengthen, but it sounds like your capture card might be going on the fritz. Let me show you where your buffer is. We're going to settings and we're going to go into our uh, audio. Uh, is it in here? It is not in here. Is it in general? This is a feature that I've never actually used before, so I apologize for taking just a moment to actually find it. Um, but there is a buffer. Might, this might be, the stream delay might be what I'm thinking. So you can actually, if you do a stream delay, that means it renders everything in advance and it can give you less problems but I don't think I don't think that's actually the buffer that I was thinking of so let's go to output recording streaming I know there's a buffer I know it wow maybe they removed the buffer Oh, here it is, the replay buffer. So you can enable the replay buffer, and this will and, and this will encode for a few moments before your actual uh, thing. 
Um, but I, you know, I know that there's another place for the buffer. I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, here it is, recording. See, that's the replay buffer as well, though. That's not what we're looking for. I think this stream delay is probably the best you're going to get. It will encode all of your stuff a little bit before it streams. But I really think that it's possible that your capture card is just kind of on the fritz. So that's my guess. You probably have better success using a new capture card than you will recreating the buffer or fixing the buffer. Uh, the logician says my OBS crashes every time I enable the replay buffer and I haven't figured it out. Probably a conflict with an installed plugin. Yes, it's very distinctly possible um, that it is a conflict with some pre-existing plugin. You can probably submit your log on the, uh, on the failure there, logician, to the OBS forum and they figure that stuff out really quick. They can tell you exactly which plugin is causing it. <laughs> So, there you go. I was, it was the third, the 3D screen I was talking about in my question. When you click it to add media to it, display a frame around it. Oh, are you, I'm not sure, see, are you actually just capturing your 3D screen in poly, in polypop or are you actually broadcasting to it? Because if you're just capturing the screen, there's no way to get rid of that, except for un unclicking on it. But as but if you are broadcasting it, the, your viewers won't see those setup things. Those are just things that you see. So, so I just wasted an hour. Thanks. Four twenty-eight chase. What do you mean? Did you ask a question? Anyway, go ahead, honey. Let's get to another one. Okay. Okay, next question is from Xander. Was it really a wasted hour, 427 Chase? Are you saying you didn't have any fun? Is this all really just about you? I don't know. <laughs> you be the judge. <laughs> I'm having fun in answering your question. So, anyway, go ahead, baby. Okay. Xander's question. My stream setup is very busy, but lots of text coming on and off. Do you have any tips to make it less all over the place? Uh, well, you know, this is one of those things where you kind of have to just decide what you want your overlay to look like. So if you've got text coming in from all over, maybe, maybe you should set up a box on one side or something that's just going to have the text, you know, kind of like the chat box over here or whatever. Um, that way you don't have to kind of worry about it. But, you know, it's up to you. It's all a matter of what you like, what your aesthetics are. Some people probably hate this whole uh, overlay thing, you know? And some people love it. They think it's great. So it's a matter of what your personal aesthetics are. You kind of have to just decide what works, what works for you. And, you know, you can always ask your audience, what do you think of this? Can you add a browser source in Polypop? Yes, you can. Uh, I do believe you can interact with it as well. All right, let's get uh, over here. All right, babe, what okay. you got? Okay, I have a question. Uh, Rider Mega Squad Jitsu has a question. Rider Mega Squad Jitsu? That's an <laughs> yep. interesting. That's interesting. Hey, Aussie Wheels is in the house. Aussie. All right, Aussie Wheels, why are you late? Does anybody know why Aussie Wheels was late? BMW. Let's let's, let's see if we can figure this out. Let's see if we can figure out why Aussie Wheels was late. As long as it's not There's got to be a reason. <laughs> There's got to be a reason why Aussie Wheels was late. <laughs> oh, me again. Oh, man. That Cookie Monster bastard. Why would he do that? Why would Cookie Monster make you late? Ozzy Wheels, were you really that hungry? Is that what was going on? Is that what was going on? I don't know. I don't know. 428 Chase says, My problem is when I grab a display capture and I select a video, the loop doesn't go away, so I have to use window capture. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but why would you be grabbing the display capture? It doesn't make any sense. 
There's no reason to. You can just grab the virtual camera. Have you have you actually watched any of my videos? Uh, maybe you should check out my video on Polypop so that you can understand how to import it directly into OBS properly. Because I'm hoping that that will, that will give you the information that you need. Could somebody link a video, uh, one of my Polypop videos, uh, to, to uh, in there so that uh, you can figure it out? Aussie Wheels just got out of bed. It's too cold to get out of bed this time of year. Mm. Hey, it's cold there. <laughs> it's cold there. Yeah, you would you would use uh, Polypop as a virtual camera for 28 Chase. So you're importing it in to OBS, I'm assuming, with a virtual camera, and then you just set it to RGBA, and it's an overlay. It never shows anything. It never shows any of the menu stuff or anything in Polypop. But I don't know. It's it it's possible that I'm just misunderstanding your question as well. Let's get to another question, baby. Okay. Let's stop clowning around here. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. We're making an uh, ass of ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, did, I didn't ask this question from Ryder Mega Squad Jitsu. No. No. Ryder Mega Squad Jitsu. Yes. It's only okay. seven degrees, forty degrees Fahrenheit. Jesus, Aussie wheels. It doesn't get that cold in Australia. That's not possible. Oh, Dr. Rob is in the house! Yeah, baby! Thank you, Dr. Rob. Dr. Rob always lets us know when he's in the house. <laughs> it really does, and I appreciate that. Dr. Rob says, having a blast, as always, watching you from work. That's why, that's why he's been so quiet tonight. You know, because I was wondering on whose fault it was that Dr. Rob was not around. So I think I know who it was. I think I know whose fault it is that Dr. Rob has been so quiet tonight. Let's find out. Let's find out. Oh, Mega Squad Trevor. Maybe you should skip his question. I don't know. I think we'll still answer his question because we love Mega Squad Trevor. <laughs> oh, Dr. Rob. Thank you, brother. There's links in the description. Check it out. Thank you, Dr. Rob. All right. Okay. Do you think we should okay. answer, uh, Doctor? We should we should answer Mega Squad Trevor's question in light of what uh, we know now. I think we should, because he's probably like, oh, here comes my question. Oh, no, not yet. Oh, here comes my question. No, not yet. I think, I think Ryder, here comes your question. <laughs> I, I, haven't, I haven't seen him in the chat tonight, so I'm wondering if Mega Squad Trevor um, just asked the question and just disappeared. You never know. <laughs> he asked and ditched kind of thing. Oh, yeah. Tech, techno Glitch loves the wheel. Yeah, this is the first time we're using the wheel. I've had it for a while. Um, the logician was awesome and created it for me, but... I didn't actually load it in because I wanted to do a video about the app that I'm using to ensure that we can get the wheel of blame in every scene without having to worry about anything. It's awesome. So, all right, babe, let's do it. Okay, okay. So, Ride Omega Squad Jitsu says, do you have any experience capturing ambient sounds? I'm about to start looking into a good mic for that and wondered if you have any suggestions. I need to record crickets and bugs at night, birds in the evening, etc., for some of my music. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. So, I'm guessing the person that probably can give you the information that you're looking for is the logician. He is, uh, he is very tech savvy when it comes to microphones. Um, so maybe he has some suggestions and there's also tech examined, um, tech, what do you, what do you think? What was that question again? I'm sorry. 
it, uh, he, his it, question, and let's let's bring tech on here real quick. Um, the he was answer. he was asking about uh, what. Um, hold on, there we go. I don't know why I'm big. Why am I in biggin? <laughs> there we go. Oh, do you there need we some go. Butter? So um, he was asking what microphones would be good. Oh my goodness. His, he's, his question's never getting answered. That's just the way it is. I don't even know why we got, oh, the logician. He said filibustering Mega Squad Trevor's question one more time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ryder Jitsu gives it the old. Oh, goodness. Look at that. If I put my hand up here, I have like a Bigfoot hand. Look at that. <laughs> this is. This guy, you know what? I've got to give equal time to the logicians. Um, awesome filibuster of Ryder Jitsu Mega Squad Trevor question. I I'm wondering, are Ryder Jitsu and Mega Squad Trevor the same person? I don't believe they are. So I wonder if they are um, cahooting on on questions now. If they're if they're coming up with them together over the phone. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how this works. And now I don't even remember what the question was. So you know what I'm gonna have to do. We're gonna go back to the cam here and we're gonna see there we go filibuster 1000 all right so uh yeah so you were you were going to i was asking michael what um <laughs> mike for capturing ambient what, sounds yeah what microphone would be Ooh. good for capturing ambient sounds like crickets and that sort of thing that's going to be used in music Hmm. And the logician, please do me a favor. If you have some suggestions, put them in the chat as well, because I'm not as familiar with this. Um, well, you know, the thing is, like, when you think of something like a like a microphone for a podcast, you know, you, you obviously want something that's directional. Um, but when it's something that you want to be able to c capture everything around you, um, you know, and it's funny because you could actually use, like, just like any, any, <laughs> it just read my mind, any omnidirectional mic, you know, anything that's going to be wider than, you know, like a, like a shotgun mic, not like that. You want something that's going to capture everything around it. This is really starting to annoy me looking at myself as a, as a smurf. Like a smurf. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, any anything that you have that's that's like an omnidirectional mic that's going to be pointing outwards, that's going to be able to gather what it is that you want to capture. And the most important thing is, and I do this with perhaps, oh. perhaps, uh, might as well interrupt my question too. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm expecting that we're going to get whisked off here any moment. Here, let's just wait. <laughs> but I'm waiting. I'm waiting because I'm thinking, what if it doesn't do it? Okay. Well, I'll keep talking until it does. So essentially what you want to do is, you know, find something like that. And I, I can jump on and see if I can find something for you that's a decent mic. But the most important thing is you want to turn it up almost as loud as you can and not make any noise. And, you know, obviously you don't want to make sure that it's peaking too much. But I may or may not have messed with ASMR videos in the past and done different um, controllers and whatnot, so that's what I ended up doing, and I ended up just actually using just like a, a regular mic. But since you're outside, you want to be able to capture everything. So, that's my two cents. Yeah, and and uh, there we go. <laughs> right or two. But my stream deck was. Oh, I, my stream deck is, is just not cooperating at all, at all. I don't know why. And Ryder Jitsu's uh, comment says, I might as well interrupt my own question too. 
but I think we got through it. And the logician makes another recommendation, that Zoom uh, 4HN microphone, which I have one of those, and I believe Michael has one or two of those different ones. And they're, they're pretty epic for picking up that sort of stuff as well. Um, but they can also be good. Yeah, that's what a lot of people use. And if I'm not mistaken, they're not that expensive. I think you can get one for 150 bucks. So maybe check out the Zoom microphones. And it's the diff It's not the. It's not the uh, software you're thinking of. It's totally different. You get a touch portal instead. Oh, the touch portals. Uh, yeah, not not for me. I do love my stream deck. It's it's a problem with the nature of the fact that I opened OBS before I opened my stream deck software. Not a smart thing to do. So there you go. Uh, or I opened OBS before I opened my stream deck software. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that is what's creating the problem for me tonight. So <laughs> it's funny the logician there is up the H1. I was literally just looking up the H1, and they have a bunch of different ones. Yeah, um, you know, for like a hundred bucks, that was gonna be my next, my next option. Logician, get out of my head. <laughs> yeah, the, the Zoom H1 is cheaper. Oh, I think I might have re refreshed three times to get Rider Jitsu's thing to come up, and that's why we're, that's why it's doing that. <laughs> <coughs> the yeah, so the H1 is about a hundred bucks, and the H1 is the one that I have. I do believe it's actually out in the garage but the h1 i don't believe has a microphone built into it but i could be wrong so the h1n does yeah it has the an h1n omnidirectional. does okay yep so the one yep. that i have doesn't but the h1n does okay yep. cool well hopefully that helps you rider jitsu I, I can't wait to hear some of that music you know send it my way brother we'll use it on the stream yeah that would be fun it would. It would. All right, babe. What's the next question? Okay. Our next question is from Our Haunted Travels. Yay. Oh, wow. It's Panic so D in the house. Guys. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad to see you guys. Okay. So their question is, not sure if this stream is all about OBS. Sorry, I came in late. If talking hardware, what do you think about the Sony 2V1? Thinking about going shopping. If it's only about OBS, we'll come back for another time. Haven't got back into that yet. <clears throat> awesome. So uh, let's go over here to the main screen. So I don't know what the Sony 2V1 is. I'm assuming it's a camera. Let me just take a quick look. Oh, ZV1. Monica. Okay, and I believe Michael has this camera. Is this the camera that you have, Michael? Okay. 100. But this okay. is like, this is an absolute epic camera for, for vlogging. I mean, this, there you this go, thing uh, is just... There you go, it? Sean. If you want to capture like vlog okay. style stuff, this is EV1. Michael owns an older version of this camera, and it's awesome. I think the only problem you really had with that camera is it does have a little bit of an overheating problem, which I would yeah, hope they, they would... Solve. They fix that with the ZV one. That's not awesome. A, this is this is again. This is, I mean, this is like an eight hundred camera, eight hundred dollar camera as well. Does so that does it have it, an HDMI out? Uh, you know what? I don't know. I don't think it does. Because that would be the only thing. Um, you kind of want an HDMI out if you're going to use it for live streaming, and of course we don't just do live streaming questions here, but it's nice to angle it towards live streaming and so let's go over here to my tutorial thank you michael i appreciate that i kind of yep. thought when i looked at the picture it looked a lot like that one that you have so if we come over here in case you guys don't know what we're talking about well that's a really poopy picture um let's go back yeah so it's this camera right here and i'm just trying to find out if this has um, an HDMI out. If it has an HDMI out, it'd be absolutely awesome because uh, then you would be able to literally get a capture card and use this for live streaming as well. Um, 
and you might even be able to get some some pretty nice some pretty nice looks at it. Let's see where where are the where are our ports at here? Not showing us anything. There's got to be ports on this thing. There we go. Yeah, that looks like it ha might have a micro HDMI out. Does that look like micro HDMI out to you, Michael? So you'd probably be able to use this with a uh, capture card and live stream with it, which would be pretty awesome. Pretty awesome stuff. So yes, uh, just so you're aware, Michael has this camera in an older version and it's absolutely fantastic. It's small, it's easy to use. It's really, really cool stuff. So definitely recommend. All right, let's get another question. That was good, I like that one. It's rare we get questions like that with, with software or with a, like a hardware piece that I've actually had some experience with, even if it is an older version. Burning Cobra Gaming says hi. Hello, Burning Cobra Gaming. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, we, got, we are at 828. So what question are we on? We are on question 20 of 23. All right. So we have three questions. I'm going to leave the question form open for another five minutes. We are getting off of this live stream at 9 o'clock. So if you have any questions, you have five minutes to get them in at 9.32 or so, 9.33, we are going to close the question form down. Uh, or 8, 8.30, yes, uh, 8.33. We're going to close the question form down. So you have been warned. Let's get hey, to Michael. another one, baby. Yes. I'm going to I'm going to jump in here real quick. Um Dimebag uh, yeah, yeah, Dimebag is still having an issue. The logician made a really good point. How about if we make him a mod, make Dimebag a mod even if temporary to see if that resets it to allow him to be seen in the chat. Absolutely. Can you do that? Uh, I, I can access do, to do that. I do not have access to do mods. All right. Well, you know let, what? You know what? Let me let me mess around with it while you're Doing the next question. Let me see if I can figure it out. We'll let we'll let Monica uh, ask the question. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I actually might be able to. Okay. All right. So this question then is from Death Slayer One Forty. Um. Say, so how do you make your live stream more entertaining as a deaf streamer? Oh wow. Um. Wow. This is a really tough question. All right, so I can't pretend to know what sort of, um, I can't pretend to know what sort of things that you have to deal with just to be able to stream as a, as a, just to be able to stream as a person who, who's deaf. I don't even know, I don't even know how you would, how you would be able to do that. So. It would be difficult for me to tell you what you could do to make the stream more interesting for those viewers watching. But if you want to get some idea of what people who are maybe not great on camera or shy on camera do, um, Xander actually is a really good example. He uses a lot of AI elements in his live streams to, uh, to accent what he's doing to take away some of the uncomfortableness of him being on camera and from what I understand it works pretty well maybe trying something like that or maybe that gives you some idea of that wait Dimebag just uh, he just chatted were you able to add him alright so that that seems to have fixed the problem I'm so glad that we at least got Dimebag in there. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. I, I don't know what's wrong, but hopefully that fixed it. Hopefully that fixed it. But uh, Xander, can you just say hi? Hopefully Xander's still here. If not, maybe somebody can link Xander's channel in there as a good example of something that they can check out that he does a lot of um, AI things in his live stream to liven it up maybe something like that could work for you um, definitely adding music or any kind of sound to your live stream could definitely help if you're looking for a live stream well stream tunes you just saw it up there you can use that music without having to worry about it <laughs> um, but yeah uh, I, I really wish I don't 
it's really difficult for me to say because I've never dealt, I've never had to deal with having that sort of disability. But hopefully that would give you some idea. The other thing that you could do is watch other live streams that you like and see what elements of those live streams you can do or emulate um, given what's going on. And the logician just posted a link to Xander's Corner if you want to check it out. Like I said, he uses a lot of AI elements which is, uh, you know, an art artificial intelligence person that interacts with the audience with, with voice and everything else. Um, and maybe that would be something that could work for you. And I can also tell you that Xander is very open to discussing with other people how he does it and, and what he's doing. So maybe uh, if that's something you think you'd like to get to learn more about, maybe contact Xander and, and he can help you with that. But that's the best I can come up with. Hopefully that helps you. <laughs> I'm so glad Dimebag Darren is back, honey. I just I want know. to give a big shout to uh, OmniVox Clasher uh, for stepping in and helping uh, talk while Dimebag tried a couple things that I had. So, And then, of course, a big props to the logician for that idea. Very awesome. That, yeah, that's, that's Thank fantastic. You, all. you guys rock. Fantastic. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Are we moving on? I think so. Let's get another question. Okay. Uh, we are. We are. I believe at the uh, at that time of night, though. Oh man. There we go. <clears throat> but that's the wrong slide. That was dumb. I, I just played the wrong slide. That's a close. It did, but then, then I'm shooting it open. That's actually the oh. open one. Gotcha. Yeah. There you go. Form is closed. Love you guys. But uh, you know <laughs> Love you guys bye. Jo Josh Gates is on tonight, so we, we don't we don't do three hours on on this sort of Wednesday. Right, honey? <laughs> right, honey. Who? It, it's nobody, trust me. If if you asked him he'd say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Sawyer just submitted his, and he's got a great song, too, so. Let's see if Tom Sawyer got in. Tom Sawyer got, did get in. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so we have, <clears throat> excuse me, we have three more questions left. So the first one is from Matthew Kelly. And Matthew he says, Kelly, hello. Yes. If someone is doing a leak discussion stream, would it be better if we don't show the leaked images in the middle of the stream? I did see a new Fire Emblem mainline title had got leaked, and I was thinking of doing a stream talking about it. I know that Nintendo takes down real leaks, but I didn't see them take it down as of now. Huh. Well, now this is really interesting, because, I mean, when we're talking about leaks, we could be talking about anything. So I think if you're going around town looking for water leaks or something like that, you don't have any, you could show as much of that as you want to on your live stream. When it comes to showing leaks for products from certain companies, sometimes some companies leak that stuff on purpose to get people talking about it and they probably don't care. Other companies, like what you mentioned, Nintendo, have a little bit of a history with not appreciating that. With that being said, if it showed up on somebody else's stream and they didn't do anything about it, well, you know, chances are they leaked it on their own. So I, I, would, I wouldn't be too worried about it. Um, I just wouldn't dox anybody. You know, obviously don't give away the leaker's name or anything like that. You know, if, if somebody's kind enough to be able to provide something like that, you know, try to keep them as safe as possible. But as far as showing the, um, as far as showing whatever the leak may be, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Phoebe's in the house. What's up, Phoebe? I, I saw you chime in before and I apologize that I missed it. And Blissemo asks, where, uh, where do, you, do you have a Discord link? Well, Blissemo, if you become a member of the Streamer Squad in our membership program, there are three different membership tiers. We have the, uh, we have three different membership tiers. And the middle membership tier is called the Streamer Squad and it gives you access to our Discord server. So when you become a member there, then in the community post, there is a link 
to our Discord server and you can join all of the amazing folks that are members of the channel as well. King Assassin's Gaming, hello to you my friend. Let's get another question. I, I answered that question and of course I left this on. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? Because I'm stupid. Anyway, I answered that one, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, I believe you did. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Okay, so the next question is also from Matthew Kelly. He says, um, if there was a virus that showed up on my computer when I was about to stream, would it be better to postpone the stream in order to run the antivirus? Wait, repeat this question. Who, who's it from, by the way? This is from Matthew Kelly. Another question okay. from Matthew Kelly. All right, cool. <clears throat> and he says, if there was a virus that showed up on my computer when I was about to stream, would it be best to postpone the stream to run the antivirus scan? Hmm. Nah. I, you know, chances are it isn't going to make that much of a difference depending upon what the virus is. You're not physically connecting to other people's machines or anything like like that. Uh, oh, my. Dime bag. Dime bag is just a call. Remember, a super supporter. That is the first two. Now I just remember. Thank you so much. Dime bag, Darren. You really didn't have to do that, brother. You probably... You probably earned your, uh, your mod status anyways. You're always around, you're entertaining, you're fun. And I'm glad you didn't give up and you kept coming back to try to get us to solve it. Because it wouldn't be right not having you around here, man. There we go. We can we can do this. We can do this. I went to the wrong scene. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, we keep getting interrupted. Whose fault do you think it is? Oh, for the interruption? Yeah. I'm not sure who's, whose fault is it. Let's, let's find out. Let's find out whose fault it is that we keep getting interrupted. Whose fault is it? There we go. I knew it was John's there it is. fault. <laughs> oh, you were there. <laughs> be careful what you wish for, brother. It can be your fault. It can be your fault. <laughs> it's like, what am I on there? Wait, oh, what? he's on there. He is on there. All right, babe. So let's get to the next question. <laughs> Okay, uh, so did you finish Matthew's question about the virus scan while he's live streaming? Oh, I, I, you know, you're not connecting <laughs> to anyone's machine specifically. Yeah. I mean, what's it going to take to run a virus scan? 20 minutes? You could run it if you want and just delay the stream a little bit and then go. Um, or you could just run the stream and virus scan afterwards. Honestly, once it's once the virus is on there it's probably on there until you run the scan it's not going to make any difference if it's not interrupting the way that the machine works so some people might take a much more a much different approach to it but since i've been a pc tech pretty much my entire life i would probably just go into um <laughs> i would go into my task manager and just kill whatever the virus software executable was, and then I'd go about my day and clean it off later. <laughs> That's probably what I would do. Uh, longer the machine runs with a virus, the more chance there is to propagate the more files on your machine. That is true, the logician. Um, so I'm kind of taking the approach that I kind of know how these things work, so I could just kill it and not have to worry about it. But the right answer is probably run your scan, then stream. That is that is the right answer, <laughs> right? Yeah, that's the right answer. Right. 
question. All right, let's get another question, beautiful lady. Okay, this is actually the last question. Are you sure? And it comes from Tom Sawyer. Well, hello, Tom Sawyer. And mean, mean it, stride. It, Today's it Tom Sawyer. Oh, wait. What? Mean, mean stride. Sing, oh. oh, John Barrydale just became a member. Guys, he's now joining the streamer squad. I mean, why not? It's already his fault. <laughs> yes. John, we look my friend. I couldn't help myself. My fingers do not stop it. Don't see that court. Maybe maybe you don't tell the cops that. <laughs> Thank you, John. I really do appreciate it. Uh, Michael, recently Twidget has been discontinued for OBS. What's your recommendation for something similar? Well, uh, and let's highlight this question right there. I cannot pronounce your name, Romanoff. Mr. Romanoff. How about we just go with that? Mr. Romanoff, I have a solution for you. And I just chastised my editor because I wanted this video out a week ago and I still do not physically have it in my thing. So let me see if this video is done. I plan to release it on Friday. Uh, I plan to release it Friday, but let's see if, if it's in here. Cause I, it's ridiculous. Um, I have, I, yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to add my editor to the wheel. Uh, Wait, 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 wait. Yes, this video will be out on Friday. Please, Romanoff, set your calendar Friday because it appears that my editor got the message today when I said, hey, I can't have three weeks of video sitting in there. How far ahead do, you, I think I, do you think I film? <laughs> so, he, so he pushed those puppies out. The video is ready to go and I will release it on Friday and it is a perfect alternative solution to what you're using and as you can see I can still bring chat up here I can still use chat over here you're gonna love it it is awesome and the video comes out Friday and I'm so bummed that Twidget is broken but this is the perfect solution and and it doesn't uh, <laughs> see now now he is a great viewer I'm just letting you know but it doesn't uh, it doesn't matter what platform you're streaming on. So if I were to stream on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube all at the same time, all my chats would be aggregated just like in Twidget. So it's awesome and it's free and it'll be, excuse me, it'll be out on Friday. Um, and we're, we're all gonna, it doesn't actually. Uh-oh, John Barron, yeah, yeah. You know why it's doing that? Cause I'm not actually using that's that's something else hold on there we go there we go yeah I just have to I just have to make it happy isn't that what she said all right let's go uh, let's go get another question okay not another question the last question the last hey, question yes. the <laughs> <laughs> all right yes. let's okay. do it so Tom's question is not actually a question, so we're just going to end on a comment. So he says, no question, just an update. A few weeks ago, I had asked about gameplay on an iPad mirrored into OBS, skipping while music was playing from any PC source. I discovered a fix which may have been touched on in a prior tutorial, turning on CloudBot in Streamlabs desktop. This allowed viewers to do song requests using chatbot and not eat up computer space. And then he says, thanks for always helping us followers get better functioning streams. Oh, well, that's fantastic. You know what? I do have something I really want to say. 
So hold on a second. I have something I really want to say. Hey Alexa, play Mastodon. Blood and Blood and Thunder. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey Google, play Mastodon Blood and Thunder. Or maybe we should try this one. Hey Siri, play Mastodon Blood and Thunder. And just in case you missed it, hey Alexa, play Mastodon Blood and Thunder. I love you guys. <laughs> uh, Xander's Gaming. I saw my link in the chat when I came back. If someone wants to join me, I'm very active on Discord. You can reach me from Mike's Discord on my own link. Um, actually, Xander, someone asked a question. Just don't cross the streams. That's right, Dr. Rob. Don't do it. Xander, someone asked a question about... Um, just so you... Let's put this up here. Um... Somebody asked a question about, and I don't know why that's using my my logo. That's weird. But someone asked a question. They are a deaf streamer, and they wanted ways to spruce up their stream. I've never been deaf. I don't know what it's like to be deaf. But I think that your AI and the way that you integrate that stuff into your stream could help this person. So I uh, gave them your link and pointed them your way. I, I of course, know that you are a kind of person who's going to welcome someone who might be interested in learning more about how you do that if they think that's what can help them. So we kind of sent them your way. Just so you know what that, that what that was all about. So let's go get uh, let's go get a oh, hold on. Let's go get another question. Here we go. Good. <clears throat> We're going to ask for another question. We just yeah, had what's... the last question from Tom. Tom Tom's his... question was the last question. Tom's why why is Tom's question the last question? I don't understand. It was, it was the last question because that's what happened, right? He got it in right before we shut the form down. Go. Well, why, 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 why did we shut the form down? Why would we what? do that? I because thought we were just getting started. Now we're will. shutting the form down. It's 849 and Josh Gates tonight's going to be on. But what are we going to do? I mean, I can't believe it. Who shut the form down? We might have to find out. Don't we have a wheel or something? I guess. <laughs> Let's see whose fault it is that the form is shut down. Inquiry I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Uh, yeah. Let's, here we go. Let's, I, Let's do who it. closed the form yeah, down? Let's do it. Here we go. Who shut the form down? Who closed the form down? Who, 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 who closed the form down? Who, 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 Warmth of his own bed. Why would he do that? Everybody mod, loves too. it when the form is open. <laughs> and I now he went and closed it all down. <sighs> <laughs> I'll be okay. I'll be okay. <laughs> He's <laughs> laughing. <laughs> Only he called it a forum. Look at, there's Aussie Wheels chiming in like he doesn't know what he did. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he would do that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you guys are the freaking best. I just want to know, man. I had an absolute blast for these two hours tonight. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Monica. Thank you to all the moderators tonight. You've been... you done yeoman's work the logician and uh, all the others i always i always i can't even remember all the ridiculous mods we have but, but you guys do an amazing experience job in the baby for the first time <laughs> poor, are you are you glad you came back panic d <laughs> well if if aussie wheels wouldn't have shut the form down but we've got aussie wheels a tech examine dr rob and rider jitsu i know that onion is also a um a mod tonight we got a new bot new mod dime bag darren regulating and making sure that everything runs smoothly on the stream and i really do appreciate it thank you honey 
for being our question um our question person of course you're the best baby every week I right. love the most of your videos. <laughs> uh, Not all of them, but most of them. What was that? Uh, sore Speed said, love, loved most of your videos. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Those ones. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Right. I'm going to switch over here to the main. Well, I apologize, Sore Speed. I will do better so that you can love all of my videos in their full entirety. <laughs> Oh, but I do appreciate the candidness. Please leave me a comment when you see something that you don't like. Because that always helps me. I, I always want to know. You know, I do get people don't like that I film in 24 frames per second. I understand. I understand. But 24 frames per second is what I film in. So hopefully you can forgive me if it's occasionally a little bit choppier than you like because I film in a cinematic format. I do love you guys either way. And I just want those of you to know, <laughs> I will. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Sore Speed. Uh, I, I don't even notice the 24 frames per second. I don't figure that most people do, but um, some people really don't like it. So I get comments occasionally that tell me, why are you doing that? But uh, for those of you who are interested, I finished up a, uh, I did I did start the BMW this week. It is going to be less of an excuse coming up, um, which is awesome. Uh, if you are watching on my car channel, I know that it's been a long wait since the last time I uploaded any kind of com content on there. Um, and I know the logician will be happy to link that in there if you want to go check out my car channel. I submitted the first of many, many, many videos of reconditioning for this car um, to my editor and so those things are going to start to come yeah I almost burned down the garage when the beamer started <laughs> something like that I know Monica was Monica was in between filming me and panic <laughs> Monica was in between filming me and panic she says if you hadn't remained calm I would have ran right out of that garage like a shot but um yeah, so those those videos are gonna start coming. If if you know people that are interested in cars or whatever, please tell them about the channel. Have them come by, watch, and enjoy it with me. I really do appreciate it. Also, if you are a if you own a Subaru XT from the 1980s and you are looking for someone to take it off your hands, or you know someone who has a Subaru XT, I really want that to be my next project car, so please. Find me one and let me know. I do appreciate it. Like I end every stream, I'm going to tell you right now that uh, we can sit around and complain about the way that the world is all day long and point out the faults of others. But the best way to make the world a better place and the most active way to make the world a better place is not to notice what all the other noise is, but to just go out there and do the best you can to do nice things for other people. Be the change that you want. We're not all perfect human beings, that is for sure. But if you go out there and you spend just a little bit of your time trying to make other people's day, make other people's lives better, and make other people happy, you're making the world a better place by proxy. And is there any better thing that you could possibly do? I love you guys so much. Have a great night, and thank you so much for coming. This was fan freaking fantastic so I will see you soon. Today's video is sponsored by Envato Placeit. Placeit is a marketplace for all kinds of assets that can help you with your YouTube channel. Things like art and live streaming and video assets. You can create amazing face cams and live streaming overlays really easily. There are hundreds of templates and each face cam and overlay can be modified with different designs, colors, text, Oh, guess who's back? This time Xander's, Xander's hooking us up this time. So this is a thing, cause people uh, figured out that they can actually hijack <laughs> the stream and send us back into the live stream. Let's see if Xander left a comment for us. Ah, uh, he did not, Xander did not. 
leave a comment for us. <laughs> but thank you so much, Xander. It just means that you get more place it ad time, which I know you all love. <laughs> you guys are the freaking best. Oh. Love you. Today's video is sponsored by Envato Placeit. Placeit is a marketplace for all kinds of assets that can help you with your YouTube channel. Things like art and live streaming and video assets. You can create amazing face cams and live streaming overlays really easily. There are hundreds of templates and each face cam and overlay can be modified with different designs, colors, text, and text fonts. The process is super easy and you can even incorporate- Oh no! <laughs> the logician is bringing us in here. Uh, Matthew Kelly says, did Michael Fire Jr. drop the F-bomb or did I mishear it? I'm pretty sure you misheard it. I don't, I would have remembered that. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Logician. We're going to, he, he, his comment was safety first. Remember next time to move the Nissan out before starting the BMW. <laughs> yes, yes, that was the comment that he made after he saw the video of the BMW starting. He says, I probably would have moved the Nissan out from under the garage just in case the garage burned down. <laughs> eh, it's not a bad thought, but you know, it's not like the car's rolling anywhere. It's still up on blocks. <laughs> You guys are the best. Thank you, Logician. I really, really do appreciate it. And for the tidbits of knowledge. You guys are awesome. Today's video is sponsored by Envato Placeit. Placeit is a marketplace for all kinds of assets that can help you with your YouTube channel. Things like art and live streaming and video assets. You can create amazing face cams and live streaming overlays really easily. There are hundreds of templates and each face cam and overlay can be modified. Oh man. <laughs> oh, safety third says tech examine. That's exactly right. Safety third. I'm just going to let you know that during filming of these videos. Today's video is sponsored by Envato Placeit. Placeit is a marketplace for all kinds of assets that can help you with your YouTube channel. No, like we're still gonna tell this story. I've I've broken bolts, I've broken fingers, my arms are just cut up. Uh, I've burned myself, I've burned my floor with acid, I've destroyed brand new sensors that I just installed. There are, there's, yeah, there's a lot of crazy things. Um, Monica and I managed to drop the hood. I've managed to tip things over. Oh my gosh, there's all kinds of crazy things that, that we've done um, with the safety third in mind during this build. <laughs> so, I can't wait to see them just like you. Thank you guys, love ya. And I'll see you next week at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today's video is sponsored by Envato Placeit. Placeit is a marketplace for all kinds of assets that can help you with your YouTube channel. Things like art and live streaming and video assets. You can create amazing face cams and live streaming overlays really easily. There are hundreds of templates and each face cam and overlay can be modified with different designs, colors, text, and text fonts. The process is super easy and you can even incorporate your own logo or if you're like me, your own Placeit design logo. You can put it right in your design. This gives you an infinite number of overlays and face cam possibilities for your live streams. And they're so easy to create, you can use a different one every time you live stream if you wanted to. So please, click the link in the description and check out Envato Place It for yourself. If you Supporting the sponsors that help keep the lights on here in the studio is a great way to ensure that I can continue to make content that helps you 
I couldn't possibly do this without them or you, so thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.